hello it's Lisa here and welcome back to my channel uh, this isn't Lorna and Clyde's story um, I'm still running with this story but I thought I'd try a little bit of something different and we'll have this series um, running as well in the background so um, let me introduce you to uh, Milo Nye so Milo Nye has just been dropped off he is an alien um, and he's just been dropped off on the planet and he is a bad guy he wants world domination and he's been sent here from another planet to infiltrate the humans which is why he's disguised um, and also bring destruction to the world mm -hmm. and he is going to do that by nefarious means so he has nothing he's just been dropped off on this plot in Oasis Springs as you can see um, so he his goal in life is to become a public enemy um, and to do that I believe he'll, he will need to go down a criminal career but we're not going to let him get any jobs or anything at least until he has got a, a, an actual house because people might find that questionable when he's going for interviews I guess so uh, not, not having somewhere to live so um, we are just Oh, I pause it. Right, there we go. We are just going to start off, and we're going to have to figure out how to get him some money um, together, and um, also make sure no one discovers he's an alien. Um, so he's got a goal here. So his first goal is that he wants to make an enemy. So he's going to start his destruction by upsetting the town straight away. Um, first of all, I'm going to show you. Actually, let me just show you his traits. And it's this one here, I believe. Oh no. Go in here. So he's hot headed, mean, evil, and dastardly. He has no good traits. Um, he is just a bad guy. Um, so hopefully, this is going to be an interesting series. It's just an idea I thought up in my head. So um, please let me know if you like the storyline or if you don't like it, even. Um, all criticism is good criticism so we'll start with that and here we have another bad guy so well we think he's a bad guy so it's uh, Jacques Villarreal so why not start with him at least we're not upsetting good yep. people straight away and apparently he's feeling flirty so we're about to upset him and change change that feeling very quickly an interesting look over there. So, rude introduction. We're going to yell at him. We can argue about career. We can rile him up, which is something we can do because he's hot headed, I believe. We'll lie about our career because we're going to have to because we haven't got one. Let's go straight for the shove. Look at that face, he is angry. We can erase his memory, that's quite cool. I've never really played as an alien, not in The Sims 4 anyway. So what I'd like to do is uh, get him so angry and um, so that they will have a fight. So let's see if we can get there. So he's very, very angry. Uh, I'm feeling energized. Oh, I won an argument and I'm enjoying the mean spiritness. Well, we're feeling great, anyway. There we go, fight. Quick way to make enemies, have a fight. Hopefully we win. I'm not sure how good an alien would be against a human. We haven't got a lot of muscle, so that may be another goal of ours, to build up muscle. Uh, if we want to win fights and take over the world, we have to be in peak physical condition. Oh no, throwing that drink didn't work there. Oh. Oh no, that was a fail. <laughs> but, and here we go. Who 
is going to win. Looks. I think we may be losing. Oh no, we won. Fantastic. We're in a great mood now. Let's see if we can declare him an enemy now. We could attempt to steal his money, which would start us off. Oh, we're still on zero. I mean, we're on 14,500 accidentally. I want to start off on zero, so we'll change that. Money, zero. We figured it out in the end. So we're on zero now. So let's see if we got any money from that. And no, we didn't. We lost that. He's get. He says he's going to get going now. No, no, you don't. Not until uh, we can declare you an enemy. There we go. So that will hit one of our goals. And we're looking a bit bedraggled now. Um, we'll also need to get the mischief skill up as well because I think that will help us I think if you get that skill up you can steal things from lots um, actually no I think that that's incorrect that might be with uh, a different trait but it'd be good to get up anyway um, we're going to have to steal some money from someone, um, otherwise we're not going to get very far, are we? There's not a lot we can do with Zero. Are we making friends with him now? Of course. Right, so this guy's dressed interestingly. He's a teen. How much can we do with teens? In terms of, of being mean, I'm not too sure. Right, stop talking to to Jacques. Apparently, we're going to chat with someone instead of doing what I asked. I heard some shouting. Who was shouting? I don't really want to get money from gardening and things if if unless I have to. So that guy is so shiny. There's li Lily Feng, she has a bit of money. She lives in a penthouse. Let's try and rude introduction her and see if we can steal some of her money. I mean, if we were going for not being noticed, uh, we're not doing well on that regard, but I don't think that he would care. Tried to steal money. Hey! Oh, we've started the public enemy trait. We, we got eight, eight simoleons. We may need some more than that. We may have to do a little bit of planning if that's all we're going to get from stealing money. Let's try this girl. She's trying to steal some money from this lady. She's trying to chat with us. Ah. 
Oh, that was a bit better, 44. I mean, we're still going to need more than that. Who's this coming along? Can we steal some money from him? Victor Fenrapeng, I think that is. Hopefully he gives us more than eight simoleons. Rude introduction. So if we can get a little bit together just to build at least some sort of shelter. So what else do we need to do for this? Aspiration. Join the criminal career. <laughs> Be disliked by poor sims. Oh, I think we're about. We're nearly there with that. We just need to join the criminal career, which we, we, we've started off with the rule that we can't do that without a shelter. And our reputation is already bad. Oh no, we lost that one. So now we have an awful reputation. Having an awful reputation can have its benefits. Milo may receive some interesting opportunities from other sims of ill repute, such as attending a lampoon party, making other scumbag friends, or being set up on dates with sims of questionable morals. Morals, and if he finds himself in a career that isn't exactly legal, he'll earn bonus job performance. Oh, and despite what you may have heard, being a bad boy isn't always the way to another sim's heart. Due his, due to his awful reputation, Milo may have a difficult time when attempting romantic introductions. Children don't receive the full range of benefits based on their reputation until they become teenagers. Right, we're not ordering food. You need to put. Can you do that here? Is there anywhere? No. We're going to have to travel to a different, um, a different lot, um, a, a communal lot, uh, perhaps a park or something like that. Yeah, let's travel with all these sims that hate us. Okay, so we've come to the local park in Oasis Springs. Um, hopefully there's a toilet here. And there is, great. So, um, what have we got around here? So it's mostly children. Um, there's an old lady here who we should hopefully be able to strong handle into stealing some money off her. not let her get away, she's an easy target. So once we've been to the toilet. Introduction to this lady. <laughs> now we've sat down to do this introduction. <laughs> and bless her, she's trying to make friends with us anyway. She's given us a second chance. And to repay her kindness, we're going to try and steal her money. What? How did that happen? So we lost loads of money. Did she steal our money? Oh no. <laughs> Wake her up. Oh, 
I don't understand what just happened there. I think she may have stolen our money instead. Still her money. She's dazed. Wombosi? Uh uh. Grand Bishoji? Wafata Bibose? Oh. Jewel. It's not working. Grand we can't steal Bishoji. money from her. But she stole her money and now that's it. Nothing else we can do. We've just lost 40 simoleons. Let's try. Let's try being rude to this person Jewel. instead. <laughs> See if we can earn some of that back. This is not a good start. Let's see if we can steal this guy's money. Is it because we're sitting down, perhaps? Right, I think we should give up on the stealing for now. See if we can get some food or something. We've got 12 simoleons to our name. Are there any barbecues or anything around here? Some plants, maybe an apple that we can eat? There's some sofas in there that we can sleep in at least. What's this? Pick that up. Pick that easy bush. Rummage in that bin, see if we can get something. This fan's just sleeping on the floor. I think. Is oh, it's an like oasis spring springs, perhaps. Oh, that's why there's not much here. Um, ah, his barbecue. Oh, we can't grow anything. We don't have enough simoleons. Great. Let's see if we can get anything. So have we got anything in our inventory? Right, we'll sell those upgrade parts. Ah, oh. I was going to try and steal some money from her again. Perhaps unwisely after everything that's happened this evening. But we oh there's a barbecue right there. What's the cheapest thing? It's hot dogs. Alright, so we're just gonna let him grill those up. Just fast forward through this. His world domination isn't going so well yet, but where there's a will, there's a way, so we will do what we can. Where have you just put those hot dogs? Making sure not to share them with anyone. It's very evil of you. Well, they're poor, so maybe you should have shared them and made people feel sick. That would have been a very evil thing to do. So what we're going to do just, just gonna eat those just because we can. I have a rude introduction to this girl. Might as well while we're standing here make some more people hate us. Wang. Tobatora? Baloo. Wang's in a chopper. Oh no, she sat down. I, I think that's why 
It's not working when we try and uh, steal money, but we'll try again. Hopefully we don't lose our 19 simoleons that we have. I just stood up. Passport is Simone's. Great. Atrocious reputation. A reputation like Milo's can elicit strong reactions. Other sim that he encounters may display strong negative reactions to his mere presence. With such an outright terrible reputation, it can be difficult building bridges with other sims. Bribery is the answer. Bribe other sims for their friendship. Bribe bosses for a boost in job performance. Money solves everything. Finally, Milo might as well lean into reputation he's established. He can now throw his very own lampoon party. Just try not to make the guest of honour laugh themselves to death, okay? I don't know what a lampoon party is, but we may have to give this a go at some point. Um, when we actually have a house to throw one in. So, let's have a look. I know, his atrocious reputation. We've gone all the way. Great. And then what we're going to do is light this fire, have a little sleep, nap until the morning. And I think in the morning, um, he's going to do a jog because, as I said, he needs to be in peak physical condition for his world domination. So he's going to have to take up some sort of exercise while he's on Earth. The human body is probably a lot frailer than the alien bodies on, on Mars or wherever he's from. But it's not letting him sleep for long. What is happening? Maybe try this one. Ah, is it because of this? Can we turn it off? Perhaps not. Okay. Right, you can't sleep on the bench. Can you sleep on this one? There we go. We'll just sleep out here. Would have been nice if I warm fire, but... Apparently that's not going to happen today. I'll just make him nap like four or five times until he's refreshed. Then in the morning, I can do that. Uh, do a toilet and then go for a jog. I mean, he's in the park. It's a perfect place, isn't it, really? Um, so we just skip forward until then. Okay, straight to the toilet. Thank you. Make sure to wash your hands and hydrate. Use this. Dennis Kim. He looks very angry. Go jogging. And um, we're quite smelly, so hopefully the hand wash will help a little bit. But uh, we're going jogging anyway, so it's not going to make much of a difference. I think the aim for today is to try to get enough money to build some sort of shelter. 59 simoleons isn't really going to cut it. If we have to, we will have to craft or... Um, get a skill to 
um, and some simoleons or, or pick some plants and things but let's see how we go right so off for a jog apparently he didn't alter his clothes oh there he is oh my god look how bruised his stomach is all that fighting he did yesterday Let him have his little jog. Just see him through that. And he's so smelly. Let's uh, send him to get some hygiene. Can you wash your hands or something? Let's wash your hands like three or four times. You'll feel better once we've got you a, uh, a place with a shower. But for now, we have some some nice new victims. Wolfgang Munch. Rude introduction. Come on. Still money. Liberty Lee. Rude introduction. Ru that's just rude introduction to everyone. Did Wolfgang Munch just run away before I could try and steal his money? He knew. He knew it was coming. Also, I think people are repelled by me. Maybe because I've got an atrocious um, reputation. Or maybe because I smell. I think it might be the latter. Aha, uh -huh, you've made a mistake, Wolfgang. You've come back. No, people are photographing us. We don't need to. <laughs> I know they're photographing Dirk, but we don't want to be in the photograph. I think Liberty Lee is just technically beat us up. This fight's going on for a while. Yes, we've got a bit more money. How have we lost all that money again? So, I'm not sure stealing money is working for us. We may have to come up with some other plan. Uh, 
if we can get, uh, I think you need a hundred simoleons for a packet of seeds. We could go back to our lot and try that. At least until we've got a shelter and we can join the, the criminal career. It's a shame we can't steal the celebrities' money. That would be easier. Right, so what can we do to earn some money? We could try fishing. Or looking for frogs. We'll try that. See if we can earn some money. To... Um, so that we can harvest the daisy, daisy bushes though, and and um, grow those back at home. Is that a lemon tree as well? Yeah. We can have a lemon tree farm. <laughs> we can't sell that. We've got a book. Can we sell that? I'm not sure how we obtained it, but. Right, fishing isn't working for us. Let's harvest these trees and um, and the daisy bush. I think. Use the toilet because we have no toilet back at base. Can you please use the toilet? He's finished the toilet. We'll head back uh, to our landing zone. What has happened to the land? That was a bit odd. Um, but we're back anyway. And Apparently all this is glass. Um, we need to try and... Ah, it's better, it's back. So let's plant these lemons. Um, I don't think we can actually plant them that close. We'll keep one for snacks because aliens don't know that you can't eat lemons. Well, you can, but aliens don't know that they're so bitter. So who's going to discover that? And um, we'll do some daisies too. And he'll probably try and eat one of those too. Because he's an alien. We're just going to do it sporadically. Oh, keep one of those. Grab this one here. See, you know, it's so hard to just grab a daisy. There we go. Alright, so plant all of these, please. And then there's a treat after you get to eat a daisy and a lemon. So, quickly do that, please. Um, get towards the master. So I think Milo has learned uh, on his first day on Earth that you can't just come to Earth and dominate it by forcing your way in. He now has no friends and 
he's smelly and dirty um, and he needs to infiltrate another way he needs to play the human game um, and by playing the human game and getting money he can get the power that he needs to dominate the world so he's done their planting he's too uncomfortable to water them great eat this lemon then I don't place that in the world I'm not sure how much hunger that would have filled but you ate it anyway oh you can't eat it I thought you could eat them Huh? Oh, annoying. He's not too hungry. Um, so I think he's going to need to sleep somewhere. So I think for hopefully we can get somewhere for him to sleep with the 49 euros a chair or something to nap in. So he managed to get a little chair. I don't think he can nap in it, but at least he can sit down and watch the plants grow, hopefully. They haven't got any water. Um, oh, he should be able to water them now, which is good. That will help. So it's late in the evening, so hopefully watering will help. This one's started to grow. He's feeling uncomfortable again, so he can't water anymore. Have a sit down. What has he got around him? So it's just rocks over here. I do wonder if he has a weevil bush around him anyway. Nope. got some neighbours. Well he could oh I thought maybe he could come and sleep in this bench but he can't. Which is a little bit frustrating. Daisy is actually worth two, two pounds. You can read this, that'll make you feel a bit better. Give you a bit of fun anyway, seeing as you're just sitting there. How weird would this sight be if you were walking past? It's a strange man watching some plants grow. So, I let him read that for a bit of fun. Untamed, tr untamed treachery of the heart. I wonder what an alien would think about a romance novel like that. But at least if we can get some of these growing, we may be able to get a little bit of money together. Apparently Vlad has noticed the new the new person, is he around or is he just messaging us? It's just a text message, I'm sure he'll turn back at some point. Some marriage notifications. As an alien trying to dominate the world, he needs to keep up to date with the ins and outs of the human social life. I do wonder if he could just fall, like, nap without me turning him to in, in that chair and whether that would work so just gonna fast forward until the morning hopefully we've had I don't know how long it takes the plants to grow so that we can harvest them
<laughs> well, that's an evil laugh. Oh. Um, we're not going to waste our money tossing coins into fountains. It's good to know there's a little store there though if we need some food. We have nine simoleons anyway. There's someone walking past now so we may be able to try and steal some money. We can do that as well. It's taken the uh, well, harvesting well, route. Well, well. Oh no, we lost. But we didn't gain any money from doing that, unfortunately. Let's see if there's any other people around or people to, or plants to harvest. Who's this? Need an introduction. Who's Balconar? Lilith. Pretty sure, yeah, she's a vampire, so we'll see how whether this works for us. Apparently, he's holding an invisible glass. He's chatting to chiffon fires. Are you going to? Let's see if we can actually get him to. start issues with Lilith. Or are you just going to stay over here? Okay, I'm going to let him do what he's got to do. Who is this? Are you wearing a wedding dress? Someone's an eager beaver. Oh, there's some there's a fishing spot down here, which is good to know if we decide to do some more of that. Where is he sleeping? He's found a bench. Ah, oh, been looking at them the whole time. This is good to know that we don't need to buy one. We can, we can sleep. Well, hopefully we'll get enough comfort so we can take proper care of the plants. Yeah. No, Milo doesn't want to join any clubs. He's got his own club and his own priorities. Hmm. Uh, oh. He's changed his mind about watering them. needs to go to the toilet. I think he's just going to have to wee himself. His hygiene's always wa already way down. He's hungry too. We've got 11 simoleons. Is there anyone at that store? Yeah. Nine simoleons for popcorn shrimp. There you go. Yeah. 
so he can eat those. Who's this? No, it's land grab. Good person to steal money from. I'm sure she's got lots in her pocket. Is he just rude introducing himself from all the way over here? No, no, he was going over. Okay, fingers crossed Nancy will give us some money. Look, she's talking about money. She's telling us how much money she has. She's just asking for it really, isn't she? Doesn't look like we're winning. Yeah, you didn't win. Can we try again? I mean, we have two Simoleons to to lose. That's it. Oh no, she's off. Right. Well, we're feeling a bit better. This is saving the planet, throwing his rubbish away. He doesn't want to destroy the planet itself, just the people on it. Who's this? Rude introduction. Quacks. Boy Yarba. Luna. Stupid quarks in a hoona. So cool. <laughs> Fingers crossed they should give us some money. Hopefully we're, we're peeing ourselves while we're fighting. And we lost. And this person's here to watch. I think. Right, we can water them. So, whilst there's a lot more that I would like to do, and I would really love to continue playing this game, the video will go on forever if I continue playing it as it is. So, um, all I can say is I hope you've enjoyed this, and I hope you guys want to see or whether Milo can complete his aspiration and dominate the sim world. Um, please let me know if you like this and um, I'll be posting Lorna and Clyde's next episode soon as well so please uh, like, share, subscribe and let me know if you have any tips on how we can get some more money for, for Milo to get, uh, to, to get him that shelter so that he can start trying to blend in a little bit more maybe um, and start with his his real plans at the moment he's still just trying to set his base up so um, yeah please do join me for the next episode and I'll see you guys soon thank you very much